Hi, I'm Cameron Prosser, and I am this week's guest anchor for Young Views Real News. Today, we have a special guest to tell us about the wind turbine at Holy Name High School. Here is Francesca with the story. Hi, I'm Francesca, and I'm here today with Mr. Edward Reynolds, headmaster for Holy Name High School. I invited Mr. Reynolds to share with our viewers the story behind the first wind turbine to be located in Worcester. Thank you for being with us today. I'm sure, Edward. Francesca. It's so nice to be here with you today. Okay. For those who haven't seen the turbine yet, could you share with our viewers where is it located and how Holy Name came to have the first wind turbine? Well, the turbine is located um, directly on our campus, 144 Granite Street in Worcester. Uh, it's visible from anywhere in Worcester. You can see it from the airport. You can see it from uh, 190, 290, the Mass Pike, 146. Um, it, it's a very exciting project, and we have received a lot of positive feedback from the city of Worcester. Uh, it, its origins, it originated um, as part of a problem we had at Holy Name High School. Uh, we had extremely high electricity bills, mainly because we have all electric heat. So our electric bills could run up to $180,000 per year. Um, and we believe in coming up with creative solutions and the most creative solution we could come up with uh, to solve our electricity crisis was this wind turbine. And that's the direction we took and we were thrilled it was a six-year uh, commitment to get it going and up and operational, but the day has arrived and we are now uh, supplying Holy Name High School with electricity from this turbine. That's great. How does the wind turbine work to make electricity? Uh, it's a very basic construct, actually, Francesca. If you see the turbine in operation, you'll notice that the blades spin very slowly. It takes about two seconds for each blade to make a full rotation. That turns a shaft within the turbine itself that goes into a gearbox and spins an even smaller shaft. And that smaller shaft spins 1,500 times per minute. So although it's very gentle spinning on the outside, inside the turbine, there is a shaft spinning 1,500 times per minute and that spins a copper coil around a set of magnets and that creates an electromagnetic flux that sends electricity down to the transformer and either into our school or out to the grid. How does this turbine benefit Holy Name in the city of Worcester? Well, Holy Name, I think obviously we benefit a great deal from uh, getting all of our energy needs in a self-sufficient way. Furthermore, it's provided great publicity. It's been a great attraction for the school. The kids are excited about it, uh, and it's really re-energized our school. Um, in terms of the city of Worcester, I, I think it really puts Worcester on the map in terms of renewable resources, renewable energy sources. Uh, Worcester um, is now the first community in central Massachusetts and the first urban community in all of New England to have a turbine operational. So it's a great situation for both Holy Name and for the city of Worcester. That's great. Was there an opposition to the project in Italy? If so, how did you overcome that? Um, th there were no, no, no real opposition to the project. There were a lot of challenges. Uh, the city of Worcester was great working with us to rewrite the zoning laws and the zoning codes uh, so that we could have a turbine on our campus. Um, the neighbors were very excited about the project and uh, very supportive. Um, so there were no obstacles or opposition to overcome, but there were a lot of challenges. A lot of things took time. Uh, the financing piece took a while. We had to secure um, about half of the cost from foundations and different funds. And then the Diocese of Worcester um, loaned us the remainder uh, of the cost of the operation. Um, so there were challenges, but I would not classify them as oppositional. Okay. What has been the impact on the students with Holy Name having the wind turbine? Well, I think the students are very excited having a turbine on campus. Uh, it's also become a great learning experience. Uh, our AP physics class, for example, was able to go into the turbine and check out the parts before it was actually installed. And we consistently get data from the turbine that we hope to incorporate into the curriculum so our kids are learning more about renewable resources and wind power moving forward. Wow. 
Do you think there will be more turbines in the future in Worcester? I, I hope so. And if the response that I've heard from the greater community is any indication, I think there's a lot of excitement about wind energy. And I think a lot of people are now looking at it as a viable option for the future. Okay. What are other ways Holy Name is going green? Are there students involved in going green at the school? We are all very, very busy up at Holy Name making sure we're good stewards of God's earth. Uh, we recycle paper, we recycle plastic, we shut off lights, we shut off computers. All of those little things that everyone can do very simply um, adds up to the greater green effort at Holy Name High School. So we're always cognizant of going green and we're always working towards that goal. If people were interested in learning more about the wind turbine for their school or businesses, how could they reach you? I would encourage anyone who's interested in wind energy um, to call Holy Name High School 508-753-6371 and ask to speak to me. We have student groups coming up all the time from different high schools, middle schools. We have Holy Cross Colleges visiting us on Thursday to learn more about uh, renewable resources. So simply call the school and we'll be happy to show you the turbine, tell you how it works, and explain its impact on our school and on uh, Worcester and Worcester County. Okay. Would you like to give a shout out to our viewers? I'll give a shout out to uh, Jillian, uh, my six-year-old, and Robbie, my three-year-old, and also my wife, Jennifer. Um, I love you all. It's so exciting to be part of this, uh, uh, this movement of renewable resources because I think we do owe it to the next generation, your generation and my children's generation, to take care of the earth and provide these type of renewable resources so that we can be environmentally sound moving forward. Thank you for your time and sharing us with us the story. Oh, sure, Francesca. It's always a pleasure to talk with okay. you. I'm Francesca for Young Views, and now back to the news.